Did you know the average person dreams two hours a night? You might not remember it, but that may be because you're not supposed to. So why do we dream? Good question. Here's Heather Brown. Tell me some of your stranger dreams. Well, I have a recurring dream. I was traveling somewhere with my sister, mm -hmm. and then that turned into my son. This is where I'm being chased by Witch Hazel. And like a possum like fell on the roof. Um, and it was pirates taking over. And I get to the edge of a cliff and I wake up. Oh, OK. <laughs> but you don't go over. I don't go over. Dreams can be really weird. They can be. That kind of <laughs> makes them exciting. Dr. Roxanne Pritchard is a sleep scientist. Why do we dream? It's a weird state. I guess it's an escape. Maybe our subconscious is showing us something. You can't <laughs> figure it out. It's like figuring out what a dog thinks. You're like, I don't. How do you know? <laughs> There's a lot researchers don't know, but many theorize dreams are a combo of our daily experiences and things our brain wants us to know. And if you think about it, that's about two hours in our day that we are paralyzed and actively hallucinating. So it's a really vulnerable state to be in, but all mammals do it and we actually would die without it. Why would we die without dreams? That is a good question. It's doing something in our brain that's critically important for survival. We're still figuring out what. But here are some ideas. Some scientists believe in what's called threat rehearsal, that the um, dreams that we have give us a chance to practice something that's important for our survival but is a low probability event. So I have recurring dreams about tornadoes and getting my family to safety, just to keep that sort of memory circuit fresh of what to do. I feel like sometimes a dream can be your rough paper, and then you have your actual paper, which is real life, right. but from your dream, you can reproof your essay and actually rewrite it perfectly in the real life. I have a recurring dream that I'm going to be late to the set for my show yes. all the time, right? And your brain has decided being on time for your job is a pretty important thing for you to do. <laughs> so another possibility is something called the next stops. Your brain wants to give you different scenarios and just be like, OK, if this happens, what next? What do I do in this situation? Uh, so to help me essentially prepare. It's help you process and prepare. Because getting chased by a plant isn't something you can do in real life. I'm glad you've never fallen off the cliff. Me too. <laughs> Heather Brown, <laughs> WCCO 4 News. The scientists believe the brain is doing its work even if you don't remember the dreams. And it's also normal to forget because people only recall their dreams if they wake up right after and the conscious brain commits the dream to memory.